Well, hey, it's Friday, DJ. You got another fantastic guest right there in Amarillo. Tell us about today's guest. Today's guest is a very dear friend, Jason Fuller with Cadre Fuller Construction, LLC. So cool. Now I want to talk about you for a minute. Brent, you're somebody that I had observed and known about time and then in may i got to meet you well the same thing with jason uh i've actually uh known about him and prayed for him and his family for a long time and then i just got to meet him this year and you guys are very similar in your lifestyles and how you serve others and it's a total joy to know you both so that's all i wanted to say you know me i don't have many words i'll just sit back and be pretty <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, that that says a lot right there. Well, Jason, it's so nice to meet you. I've heard great things about you, brother. And uh, I, I'm, I'm honored to be grouped in the same category as someone like you that that cares not only about helping people and, and uh, you know, get help getting their homes ready, uh, weatherizing, if that's a term, but you also care about veterans as well. Uh, you know, if someone meets you for the first time, what, what would they say? What, what How would you introduce yourself? Oh, wow. Um, have, I, I like what we do with the weatherizations. And as far as veterans and, and the PCS contract, I usually do work that into a conversation when we first meet uh, because it is something that we're proud to be a part of and uh, to work with Panhandle Community Services in this area. We've been doing this for four years. Um, and uh, it, it, is, it has just continued to grow and be a blessing uh, my guys like it. It's uh, the the families that you get to meet, uh, the veterans that you get to meet. A lot of Vietnam veterans wow. that are that we're being able to provide services for. Yes, and and getting to know them and the stories in that you know week to two weeks that we get to be in their homes and uh, and interact with them. It is it has really changed the way that I have looked at doing business in this town. It really has, and wow. and, and enjoyed. You know, it says a lot when you take care of our nation's finest. You know, we we definitely should honor them and take care of them and never betray them or abandon them. Uh, you know, there are they are in our nation's oh. finest. And you know, Jason, because you care about veterans, you know, there's a high suicide rate uh, among mm -hmm. uh, veterans as well. And and of all the wonderful things that you do for veterans and all that, what what can we do to to help veterans better? in our own neck of the woods. Well, right now, one of the things, if you can believe it, that we're struggling with is getting clients. Um, wow. This program is uh, funded by the state wow. of Texas and uh, you go through an interview process and like any other grant program, there's going to be some rules and, and requirements uh, for the veterans or, uh, or even for the low income side of it uh, to get these benefits. But I, I, I don't know if it's people don't know about the program, if, if it's just getting word out there. And right now, we just don't have the clients. We've got, uh, there's, there's a lot of money that can go towards this, but we're, applicants are few and far between. So if you guys can help get the word out to any veterans that you know that might qualify, um, this program pays for bathroom remodels, handicap upgrades in your home, ramps, sidewalks, uh, roof repairs, uh, air conditioning systems and heating systems, insulation, uh, just general overall improvements to give these guys a good quality of life in their later years that they deserve, that they should get for what they did serve in our country. Wow. You're giving me a lot of ideas and we have people who attend our networking breakfast that are uh, veteran friendly. We also represent Panhandle Community Services, but also the Veterans Resource Center. Um, Berlaine is a retired military and she was there mm -hmm. again the other day. And uh, so I'm gonna start introducing you more direct. That gives me some ideas on how I can serve you better. Absolutely, and, and I have to be careful because I'm not allowed to solicit to my contracts um, be for you know yeah. but I, I want to get these work. folks on yes I want to get them to 
where they need to go. And so if they'll reach out to us, I can't, I can't guarantee them stuff, but I can get them connected to these services. Exactly. Uh, and, and we've done it with a couple of clients so far. They've been approved and, and, and we've done their homes. So it's just, we don't have enough applicants right now. We need more people to realize that this program is out there for veterans and let's, let's get them, let's get them taken care of. Wow. Awesome. Fantastic. Now, now, Jason, what has been your experience with, with our beloved DJ here? Oh, goodness gracious. I tell you what, she missed her calling as a stand-up comedian. I'm pretty convinced. <laughs> uh, but uh, she's able to to take that that humor and that love for people and really just, it's been a fun experience. I, I've of this organization for years until they showed up at my doorstep one day and, and it has been a blessing. I've, I've really enjoyed it. I feel the same way. I feel the same way. Well, I'm, I'm getting all warm and fuzzy here too. My gosh, you know, it's time for a group <laughs> hug via zoom. Well, you know what folks, uh, you know, th there's a, there's a, a favorite saying, you know, find out what God is doing and get behind it. And so many great people in Amarillo, great business people. Yes. Such a benevolent heart that cares for people. And with you, Jason, caring for our nation's finest, you know, business is more relational than it ever has been. You know, be, being in marketing since 1983, uh, direct mail is is projected uh, to only increase, and it has been, especially COVID. COVID changed the game. Co direct mail was very effective anyway, but now it's more effective than mm -hmm. ever, ever because people are more home-centered, and when they can hold a, a piece – of something they can put on the refrigerator, look at it. Um, you know, it's, it's a good way to to get the word out. So, with all that said, uh, I'm glad that you're associated with. Absolutely. Me. I'm glad she's associated with you. We'll do a, we'll do a better job of helping get the word out. Yes, please do, please do, and 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 we also do this privately. Uh, we'll do weatherizations, uh, even if you don't qualify for low income housing and you just want to save money. And, and improve your, your air quality in your home. Uh, we, we're experts at this and uh, we just love an opportunity to come visit you. We always offer veterans and first responders a 10% discount off all services. And, uh, and anybody that sees this, this video, if, they'll, if they call in to us, uh, we'll give them 10% off any insulation product that we do in their home. We, we don't want it to just be you know, veterans and, and low income, I mean, everybody can benefit for the health and reasons and the financial savings that you can get from weatherizing your home. And surprisingly enough, it's not as expensive as people think it is. It is okay. uh, it is really a good return on your investment to get this done. Plus, utilities are going up. They're talking about it's going to yes. be a drastic jump right now. So this is the time to do it. And I can guarantee you uh, in the fuller name, uh, everything that uh, Jason stands for and his family and his uh, and his staff. They're awesome. Just another fantastic business here in Amarillo. Thank you again <laughs> DJ, for introducing us to Jason and folks make contact at the bottom of your screen. And we'll see you next time. All right. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. And God bless you. God You're bless welcome you. partner. <laughs> <laughs>